This is a 1989 E24 635 CSI BMW, and uh, really a great specimen here. This is a great car. It's in beautiful shape. Most of these cars have really been run. A lot of miles have been put on them, and interiors are kind of worn and all that. This is very fresh. This is a rare car. I bought it about two years ago and uh, did some minor things to it, but uh, it was in really nice shape. There's a radio tuning here, which uh, this radio, somebody put a nice sound system in it, but the radio is a little bit tricky to program. So here we are taking a drive around the lake. We live up uh, near a lake, and these back roads are really fun to drive. We're coming to a stop sign, and you can see the, uh, the uh, speedometer here kind of... Uh, the needle jumps up a little bit as we as we take off and there's that little green light for drive and that is a story because uh, automatics when you drive them you put them in drive and you're in drive all the time mostly and those lights are on all the time therefore the bulb burns out so in this case I decided to, have to fix that and did it, it turned out to be probably four dollars in materials and about three hundred and fifty dollars in labor to uh, get in there to fix it. Uh, so here we are back at the, at the our driveway and uh, here's the another shot of this really nice all the marker lights work brake lights tail lights backup lights all work well uh, paint is really nice all original and these rims really set the car off too Front balance is really fresh. It's not all, all chipped and dinged. It's all been kept very well. Uh, your uh, fog lights and headlights, low beams, high beams, uh, uh, directional lights, marker lights, all work. Under the hood, you can see it's really clean too. Uh, I have a battery tender on that, which uh, I just put a new battery in the car, so. Uh, I don't drive it enough, so I, I keep that you know triple charger on there to make sure the battery doesn't get get down too low. It's not good for it. So that's basically it. The uh, hood pad is the original one. It didn't change that because it's uh, you know, it was really nice shape. Uh, spare tire looks like the original. It looks like those old TRX tires, which are really hard riders for the it's old technology. But that fits in in the uh, the wheel the well back there. So. You can see the carpeting is in really beautiful shape. No stains or anything. Here's your uh, car cover and the wrench for your rims to, to, to tighten them up when you put them on. So, the instrument cluster. Here we are. This is, uh, I put dimmable LEDs in here, which really make a difference. Driving at night, you can really see what's going on. These older cars were always dim, and it was always hard to see. So while in there, uh, ended up changing that drive light, which was kind of somewhat major. <laughs> it's, you've got to drop the steering column, you've got to take the instrument cluster out, you've got to get the whole section there of the new bulb put in, soldered, put it all back together. So it's, it's uh, again, three or four dollars in, in the parts and about three fifty in labor. So, but But it's worth it. All your uh, this is an EH transmission, which is uh, allows you to shift manually, and all your uh, graphics on your buttons and everything are really in great shape. Dashboard is in great shape. And when you have cracks in these dashboards on these old cars, it becomes monumental. I'm talking huge money to fix it. And this one you don't have to do a thing to it. Also, this particular model, I've always loved this rear console. It's, it's a great look, and it also keeps, it really works well. You know, the, the rear air coming at you it really keeps the car cool. Headliner is all original leather. No scratches, no rips, nothing. Dome light is in great shape. The uh, glove compartment, of course, is a kind of minor issue there, but there's, it's just the light works, everything works. So 
So here's another another round at the instrument cluster. I'm kind of proud of this because when you drive the car at night and you can't see, it's not as much fun. So here's the interior. Another one of these things I always loved about the car was this the, the design of this. The seats are great. They look really cool. The seat backs are clean. You have a little compartment for your adult beverages if you'd like too. This is this is very nice. Seat backs, like I say, are very clean. No scratches, no dents or anything else. The leather is really nice and like brand new. Absolutely uh, amazing for a car this old. This is the other side. Again, seats are perfect. There's your third brake light. Controls for your rear air. And there's a driver's seat. You can see a few little you know, mild wrinkles. The, the leather is perfect. It's supple and everything. It's just that when you sit in the car for 30 years, somebody's, something's got to get stretched. <laughs> so here's the dashboard in the interior. Very, a kind of a rare car for this, this age. Most of these cars, people have either tried to customize them or twist them all up or they're worn, and this one is not. Here's a VIN number if anybody wants to look it up. But that's it for the E24, a really beautiful car.